This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Here is our script. We will upload it to our C panel. We have to create a subdomain. Search for domain. Create subdomain. This is our subdomain. Submit. Okay, our subdomain is successfully created. Now we will visit document root folder. We will delete this folder and upload our academic LMS script. which I keep here so let it upload it 100% successfully uploaded back to our dom subdomain now we will see the zip folder we have to extract it Our extraction is done. So we don't need this zip folder anymore. We will delete it. Now we will visit our subdomain. It says about the installation. We need a port canyon purchase code, database name, username, database password, and database host name so let's start start installation process okay it's showing that our database.php file is uh, permission to return also the route.php also written and and see url enable click continue it will ask for purchase code so you can enter here this one and click continue okay we are in the third steps which is database connection so we have to create a database go to the database section uh, I will create a database Eka LMS. This is my database name. Okay, I will copy it because uh, I will keep the same username also the database name. Both are same. That's not a big problem. That never makes any difference. I always do this. Okay, now we have to generate a password. Click here. Now uh, choose a password. Copy this password check mark use password create user check all privileges and hit make changes our database user and database name is created we back to the instruction process now we paste the database password here we will type here localhost and back to our database we copy it once because our user and database name are same. So database name also and database user name also same. Okay, it's done. Click continue. The database successfully connected. Now hit install the button. It's importing our databases. Now it will ask for the system name. The name of application, our application name, you can use anything. I will use my 
name as well admin first name admin email you have to use your ordinary emails to recover to admin panel password if you by any chance forget and then we have to set a password for admin okay now set me up hit here our website is successfully okay now it's saying go to login okay We are in the admin panel login section. This login now. Now we are in the admin dash. This is website. Click here. This is our academic learning LMS website. There is no content or any packages because we have to create it manually. You will have everything there to create courses etc etc i have the download link which i uh, mentioned in my video description please check out when you visit this uh, link you can see uh, like like this interface uh, click next after clicking next uh, sub and hit click here you have to subscribe the channel otherwise you can't unlock the download link subscribe here and back to our previous tab and it's done click file link after clicking here you can see the academy lms script that is now available to download click here download download anyway so i already downloaded it I already downloaded it so I cancel it